everyone today we will discuss the negam x algorithm which is also used to implement simple ai games negam x algorithm is a variation of the minimax algorithm which we have already discussed in our previous video but the difference in negam x is that uh, in negam x Uh, the game tree is, is searched or you can say is traversed in such a way that the thinking of both the players has to be equally considered or you can say that both the players unlike minimax where we have the property that one player tries to maximize its utility and other player tries to minimize the utility of the first player but in case of nega max both the players try to maximize their utility uh, by choosing the maximum value of the utility function calculated by applying the static evaluation function now you can see a bit of information listed over here so as we know that a two player game is usually a zero sum game now what does it mean it means that once pl one player's loss is equal to another player's gain or vice versa means that if we have two players max and min then the loss of max would be resulting in the win for min and loss for min would result in the gain or win for max so negam x algorithm uses this property extensively so if if we talk in terms of the game then the value of a given position to the first player is the negation of the value to the second player what does it mean means both the both the players whatever the play we are at both the players try to choose the maximum value but we need to put a negative sign against that value or we can say that we need to multiply that value by minus 1 which means that the value chosen or the move chosen by one player would result in the exactly opposite or exactly negative to the value for the second player you will be easily understanding this when we will be discussing the example so uh, as i have already told that uh, uh, the tree has been traversed in such a way that the thinking of both the players is considered in equal perspective means both the players must be thinking similarly so this is the bit of information which you can note down now we are coming to the example so you can consider this game tree where we have utility values calculated by applying the static evaluation function at the leaf nodes so one thing which we need to consider over here is that whatever the static evaluation function we will use uh, should be different from that in minimax algorithm because in minimax algorithm or conventional minimax algorithm Uh, we we need to implement or uh, we have we the traversal of the tree is the thinking of in the perspective of one player only but in case of negamax the thinking is the in, is in the perspective of both the players so utility function should be so designed that whatever the value being calculated uh, for a particular player the opposite the negation of that value should be the value for the opponent player so now since in negamax algorithm both the players try to maximize so suppose at the nodes e f g h i j and k suppose these nodes are the possible moves made by the opponent or you can say min you can if if you if you try to reconsider the minimax the the terminology from minimax algorithm then you can consider these moves made by min or generally you can say that by player 2 player 2 so in this case uh, from the subtree headed by node b we have three possible moves e f and g 
and the maximum value among these moves is of node e which is 9 so 9 will be chosen and a negative sign has been put along it so or you can say that 9 is multiplied by minus 1 resulting in the value minus 9 means one player chooses the maximum value which is 9 and this 9 become this 9 becomes minus 9 for the opponent similarly in the second subtree added by node c we need to choose 8 and put a negative sign against it and in the third subtree added by node d we need to choose minus 3 and multiply after multiplication of minus 3 by minus 1 the value will be 3 so now we have evaluated the utility values for node b c and d now if we need to back these value up for node a then again the maximum value will be chosen which is of course 3 and this 3 is multiplied by minus 1 resulting in the value minus 3. So in this way you can proceed with Negam X algorithm. Hope you have understood the concept. Now now uh, we, need to, uh, we need to discuss what is the benefit of having Negam X over Minimax. So after the traversal of this tree after the evaluation of values at certain nodes uh, you can understand that if we have to implement the program if we have to write the program using any of the programming language so in case of minimax algorithm we need to design two functions two different functions one for max ply and one for min ply where max ply tries to maximize and min ply tries to minimize but in case of negamax algorithm one function only one function would be enough because we are just maximizing the value at every level uh, the additional thing which we are doing is only multiplication by minus one so we can simply uh, we can simply consider the multiplication with minus one in a single function so it will shorten the program uh, while implementing a certain game so that is the benefit of having negamax algorithm over minimax so if you have still any confusion any doubt then you can ask in the comment section so that i can respond you accordingly thank you